beach or something, isn't it? Maybe it's the it's the purple colour. Oh, it? probably. This is insane. Myself and Cash are completely off grid now, I'd say. Well, it's off grid for us, probably not for the Colombians, but we're now in Minca. This is the last minute. This is the last minute decision because um, we both didn't really like Santa Marta, to be honest. And if you're a solo traveler, I wouldn't really recommend staying in Santa Marta unless you're going on tours outside the city. But we decided to come to Minca, which is in completely in the rainforest. Um, it's about a 45 minute drive from Santa Marta and we've decided to come to a hostel here in the middle of the jungle. It's actually insane. <laughs> I'm scared of bugs so <laughs> I'm sort of take a bit of getting used to, uh, especially spiders. We've already seen a spider like probably the size of the palm of my hand. Um, here's Kat. How are the bathrooms? Actually really nice. Where are they? You're yeah. loving it. I love this place. I feel like this is like a retreat. <laughs> I need to get into it, I think. Yeah. It's just the whole bug aspect. Plus I got really oh, badly, badly bitten bit. on my ankle, so yeah. Oh look, there's a little ant. Harry. Oh, another a leaf, a leaf cutter ant. Leaf cutter. But yeah, we're really immersed in nature here, so yeah, I think it'll be nice. I'm, I'm excited to go into the pool and stuff. Well Should be excited. good. Now we're gonna like chill, have a coffee, I think, and maybe check out the gym here. Yeah, maybe do some five Check seconds. Out the <laughs> So this is where we're staying tonight. <laughs> I thought we were staying in the house, but actually we're staying in the jungle twin. So basically this is what we have for one night. <laughs> this is my bed. This is cats. I have one fan and it's like 35 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> and a tin roof. Oh, there's holes in the roof. So yeah, there's holes in the roof. Rain. They've repaired a few yeah. with some tin foil. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I have a fear of spiders and bugs, so this is going to be an interesting night. <laughs> I'm not going to sleep a wink. I'm not. We're going to have to have a few cocktails, I think, to be able to sleep. A few drinks by the pool? A few drinks. A few drinks by the pool. We've met one English lad so far from London. Probably yeah. make friends with him. We're going to target him to make friends maybe target. with. He's <laughs> got an ex in <laughs> And here are the bathrooms down there yeah and there are the showers in there yeah so we have to walk like in the night time down here <laughs> to use the bathroom yeah we've yeah. got to make Don't sure that we go before it gets dark it yeah. gets dark at six there's no light i just realized there's no light back <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we're staying in tonight <laughs> and this is what the bathrooms look like just give you a little Overview. The bathrooms look nice. <laughs> yeah, you can also camp as well in this hostel, which is quite nice if you're into that. But um, yeah, we're just going to be sleeping up here for the night. There's cat. Ready to go? Between the bug spray and the sun cream all over my body, I just feel like I have a whole layer to peel off. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I'm I'm a bit scared to be honest to stay here. I'm, I'm it's so stupid because I should be really, you know, enjoying this experience of being in the jungle. But yeah, I have a proper fear of spiders and bugs. So, and I'm also allergic to mosquitoes. And I've already got like a huge bite in my leg. So, to be honest, I'm not gonna, I'm not sure how much I'm going to sleep here tonight. But I'm going to try and enjoy it because it's a once-off opportunity. You know what I mean? To sleep in the jungle. But yeah, the, the bird song around us is amazing and the river behind us as well. It's a really cool hostel if you like nature. But for me, this is out of my comfort zone. <laughs> this is way out of my comfort zone. So I'm going to just try and embrace it. I know I'm going to review this video and <laughs> I'm going to have completed the experience. So 
fingers crossed I survived it. I'm sure I did anything dramatic, but I'm, yeah, I'm scared. I need to ask the host if there's any poisonous spiders in this area or poisonous snakes because I looked up the the nature of minka and there's actually like I don't even know how many species of like animals and snakes and like spiders there are there's like thousands there's even there's even some species that are have just been discovered I'm just gonna have to try and forget about my fear for tonight because it's incredible to be able to sleep so close to nature uh, but at the same time <laughs> I'm so scared Oh. Anyway, it's a one night thing. We have one night here and then we move on to another hostel for two nights in Minka. But we can always cut it short, you know? Always cut it short. So, yeah, myself and Kat, we're gonna head to Minka town now and pick up some supplies because I think we are we're running low on all of our snacks and there's not much I can usually eat. Um, so, I need to get some fruit and some snacks, I think, just for an emergency. But um, this hostel is good because it has breakfast included as well. Some hostels do, some hostels don't. Um, and it has a really nice bar area. It has unlimited coffee. So yeah, it's a very nice hostel if you like nature. But if you're like me and are a bit scared of creepy crawlies, maybe not. I don't know how on earth they're going to get back <laughs> to our feckin' hostel room tonight when it's dark. Because there's like, oh, there's, there are a few lights actually up here along the track. Look at the wild parrot. <laughs> The next day we were running on very little sleep but we managed to do a walking tour of Minka which I will link down below. The tour included some beautiful wa waterfalls and a trip to a local coffee and cacao farm. We got to make chocolate from scratch but the highlight for me was definitely seeing a toucan bird. Although our trip to Minka was short, um, I'm proud to say that we did sleep in the rainforest for one night. But now we're going back to civilization. We're en route back to the Caribbean coast. We're going to Baru, a little island of Cartagena. So yeah, so tune in next week to see the final segment of the Colombian adventures. Yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you all then.